Hello and welcome back to my craft room. I thought I'd pop on today because it's not long now till the great big little stitchery swap three is due to kick off. That will happen on the 1st of April. Lots of people have already done the swap and maybe wanting to join in again. Some people will be joining in for the first time and some people might be watching you've got no idea what I'm talking about so hopefully I will answer all the questions in this video but if not please do ask drop me a line in the comments or find me on discord or facebook or if not me any of the other people in there will help we're, we're, a, we're a friendly bunch this whole idea came about as just a little idea that I had less than a year ago I can't believe it's less than a year ago as a way of celebrating the amazing friendships that have grown up between stitchers all around the world and um, through through YouTube, um, Facebook, Discord. Uh, we, we have such a lovely close knit community of, of kindred spirits. It was just a way to kind of celebrate that. So the idea was to just make each other a little square of stitchery. 10 centimetres or four inches square with just a bit of a seam allowance around, you know, just enough because some people were going to stitch the squares that, that, that they received into quilts and things. For me, I've mounted them all in a book so the size wasn't so crucial really, but for people that are going to stitch them into a quilt, um, just needs that little bit of a seam allowance. It can be hand stitching. A lot. The first time it was all hand stitching, all slow stitching. And then last time we said, well, if you, if you like machine quilting, for example, or free motion uh, machine embroidery or whatever do that that's absolutely fine any kind of stitching is fine you don't need to worry about finishing the edges and you don't need to um, worry about finishing the back I actually like to see the messy back sides but you know if you want to finish the edges and neaten up the back that's absolutely fine but you don't have to and then just pop it inside a card that's the easy, easiest way to do it usually the most economical way postage wise and post it to your recipient who I call swapsters so I don't have anything to do with the organizing of this. Um, I'm putting the idea out there and I'm going to give you an optional theme in it. What I'm providing is 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 the idea and the and the platform for you to get together and find your swapsters. So we've got the Arty Farty Annie group on Facebook and we've got the Arty Fartists Discord community. They're both all free to join. I will put my link tree in the description box to this video. Um, we've had a couple of people recently didn't know how to find it if you if you look below the video I know it'll be different on different devices you might need to scroll down you might need to click a little it might say more dot 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 you might need to click a, a drop down but somewhere below this <laughs> below the picture there's a description box and I'll put all the information you need in there if you would like to join us I would say if you haven't joined either the discord or the Facebook group or both Go and do that now and you can get settled in and start to say hello to everybody, get to know everybody um, and you'll be all ready for when the swap starts. Um, I would say there's no rush to start putting a list of swapsters together, but you can if you want to. That's up to you. So the first thing you need to think about is how many squares do you want to swap? You could just swap one or you can go nuts like I, the first time I did 44. That was too much really for me. Last time I only did 15 and that was fine. This time I'm actually going to be sitting this one out because I have still got all of my swaps from the first and second swaps to put into books. I'll show you a quick look at them in a minute and I've decided I want to focus on doing that. Otherwise I'm just going to accumulate more squares and not have time to put them into the books. And, I, and the, it's such a joy looking at all of the squares that came in last time again and going through and I really want to take the time to do that. So I'm going to sit this one out, enjoy it from the sidelines and I will pop back during the, the course of the swap and show you how, how I'm getting on with, with, with the little books I'm putting together with my swaps from last time. So yeah, just think think about how many, how many squares you're happy to make. Don't worry about putting anything else in with your swaps. Lots of people do put little gifts and things in with them but there is absolutely no obligation to. I didn't, I just put a square inside a card. Um, there really is no there's no need to it's so lovely when people send you things but I don't want people to put off because they feel they've got to do that and especially if you're sending out quite a few you know that can up. next thing is to think about where you're happy to send them to so you might only want to send um, to people within your own country or you might be happy to send all over the world but you need to be clear about that before you start looking for your swapsters once you've decided that and you're ready to start getting a little list of swapsters together and I know some people will be itching to do it straight away so 
whatever go ahead and do it now if you want to just don't start sending them don't start sending them until the swap starts that's the thing my original idea was that you would wait until the kickoff day and this is what I do I wait until kickoff day to even start stitching because then there's a two month deadline to have have your swaps sent out by so this one's going to begin on the 1st of April the deadline to get your swaps sent out not to reach the recipient but to get them sent out to to to, to put them in the post box <laughs> or hand them to your postie as I do won't be until the end of June the 30th of June so we kick off on the 1st of April and we finish on the 30th of June and from the last swap which finished on the 31st of December I notice even in the last few days there have still been swaps trickling in where they've taken a while to get from the other side of the world or whatever or sometimes people have had a bit of illness and they've been a bit they've been um, delayed for whatever reason sidetracking myself now so once you are ready to start looking for your swapsters if you go in via the facebook group um you need to do a post saying hi i'm so and so i'm in whatever country you're in i'd like to join the stitchery swap i'm looking for swapsters whatever you want to say i'd like to swap with people in whatever countries you're happy to swap with them lots of people do stick to their to, to just within their own country because of the cost of postage it's fair enough and then do not this is so important do not swap any personal details no don't swap your emails your addresses anything out there in the facebook group private message via facebook you can go in facebook messenger and message each other and you can swap your addresses securely that way please do not share any personal details it's it's a private group but nevertheless you know um you, you need to be able to, you need to just keep be safe if you want to find your swapsters in discord instead of or as well as facebook there's a special stitchery swap room in discord so you need to go in there and say hi i'm so and so i'm from whatever country i'd like to find swapsters in whatever countries you're happy to swap with and then in discord you can private message each other as well if anybody is watching who isn't sure how to use messenger or private message in discord just give a shout and one of us will help um there's always someone there who will who will help out if you just just shout up important thing to bear in mind is don't be daunted if you've only just started slow stitching this is a perfect way to jump in nobody's expecting perfection nobody's expecting a masterpiece just have fun with it just do whatever makes you happy do a little bit of what you love you know and um and don't worry about perfection or anything people just it's it's such a wonderful feeling you won't know yet if you haven't done it before for someone to send you something that they've they've made especially for you it's just an absolute it's giving me goose pimples just thinking about it i cried almost every time i opened one <laughs> I will, amongst other things, I will link to my um, Stitchery Swap playlist here, here on, on, on this channel um, because there's a whole load there now of me, snivelly videos of me opening um, swap squares from people. And uh, so that give you kind of, you know, an idea of, of what to expect. Quick recap. So you're making a square of Stitchery. It can be any kind of Stitchery, hand Stitchery, machine Stitchery, whatever makes you happy, whatever floats your boat is fine. 10 centimetres or 4 inches square with an extra sort of you know half an inch or or, or whatever centimetre or so <laughs> um, around the outside just to give people enough to stitch them together into a quilt because that's what some people did I put them in a book some people did quilts some people made panels um, some people just framed it into individual ones yeah there's all sorts of things you can do with the squares actually I'll show you what I've done with mine in a minute, or some of them. <laughs> I'm going to give an optional theme this time. We had an optional theme last time, which was my favourite. Could be your favourite anything. This time, the optional theme, you could totally ignore it. If you've got your own ideas or you don't fancy this, do whatever you like. It doesn't matter, but some people like a theme to get them going. If you would like to follow the theme, it's going to be Windows. I just realised that could be Microsoft Windows, couldn't it? Because I'm looking at my PC. <laughs> windows i think there are all kinds of fun things you could do with that it could be the view from your window it could be a little cozy cottage window it could be a church window mm. i've got some green organza i could mm. <laughs> i think there are all kinds of things you could do with windows stained glass effects oh yeah um a cat sitting in a window looking out a window box you could just divide your square into quarters like a window and do different stitches in each one you know just whatever take whatever you like from it or ignore the theme altogether but that's the theme windows 
Next thing is to decide how many you want to make and where you're happy to send to. Remember that your deadline to get them sent off will be the 30th of June. The kickoff will be the 1st of April. Please don't send in any out before that because it gets a bit confusing and also it makes people, especially people who are new to it, panic a bit. It set off a couple of little panics last time because people were sending them out so soon. Other people were going, oh, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. And, and it's, you know, you don't, you really, you don't even have to start stitching until the 1st of April. You've got plenty of time. You've got a couple of months. If anything should happen, because things do sometimes, unexpected things happen to us life happens sometimes just get in touch with you don't stress about it just get in touch with your swapsers and let them know or put a message on facebook sorry guys i've had a disaster this happened a couple of times people are really kind and lovely in our community nobody's going to give you a hard time just just let them know you know but i would say very much don't overstretch yourself i would say if you're not sure just start with a couple see how you go on and then if you want to find more swapsers later on from previous experience new people will be coming in and still looking for swapsters right towards the end so you can always find more swapsters if you want to do more so don't take on too much all at once i would say if you've not done it before yeah so once you're ready to start looking for your swapsters go into the um discord community in the stitchery swap room and, um, and or the arty farty annie group on facebook make sure you stay you say stitchery swap there will be a great big little art swap going on as well. I'm going to do a separate video about that. As I say, I'm going to be sitting this one up because I want to focus on getting these beautiful squares that were sent to me in the first two swaps into my into my several volumes <laughs> of treasuries. Let me show you those. I'm sure you've had enough of looking at this lumpy old face. Time this lump. The time this video goes. By the time this video comes out, this lumpy old face is going to be 63. <laughs> oh, I can't quite accept it. I can't quite accept it in my mind. <laughs> OK, so I'm going to take you to the desk now and show you just a little peek at some of the squares I got in the first couple of swaps. So this is the first volume of stitchery squares I've been putting together. This is I call this my treasury of stitches. <laughs> this is volume one. I'm going to need four volumes at least. And what I've chosen to do is to attach the squares. I've done this so I can still see the bats because I love to look at the messy pack sides. <laughs> um, and I have just taken elements from each of the squares that people have sent and I've taken them out into the page that I've mounted them on. And what I'm finding is that not only is it giving me lots of ideas, these were from the first swap and I used some of these ideas in my squares for the second swap, but it's just a way of looking at really really enjoying and appreciating each little square close up um, as I'm working around it <laughs> um, I've also embroidered the name of the person who gave it to me on each one somewhere on each page so that's how I'm doing it uh, some people like Sylvia for example you and me FPP Sylvia she made a quilt and she's making a book for her second lot of swaps creating craft with Christine she made a perpetual calendar which I thought was an ingenious idea so she can enjoy them all the time I loved the idea of a little book and because I've got so many I, I decided a book was the best was the best idea I just loved you, you get so many ideas from going through these every, every so often when I need a little bit of a lift or I need some inspiration just you know, just want to just can't think of, of you know just want to get some new ideas I can go through these these little books of treasures and um and learn from uh, the beautiful squares that all my friends all over the world have sent me. It's really, really special to me. Absolutely, what an experience it was. I'm, I'm, I can't tell you how, what a thriller it was, the whole thing. Here is the basket full of all the swaps that haven't gone into any books yet. <laughs> I've got them stacked up carefully in order because I've paired them together so that they look nice opposite each other. So I've got all of those. I had all together in both swaps. It must have been around 80 squares altogether. And I really want to take the time to enjoy the whole process of stitching these beautiful pieces into, into books. I've got another couple of, I did this one, this, the cover for this one with this kind of crazy patchwork idea. I've got some other ideas for the next two books. So what I'm going to do is come back up to you now. What I'm going to do while the, while the 
swap is going on is work on this and I'll come back perhaps once a week and just have a bit of a round up and show you how I'm getting on with with creating my treasuries and perhaps how I'm putting the books together and things if anything that I think might be interesting so that's what I'm going to do and I shall thoroughly enjoy watching all of the squares coming in um, when once it's very difficult when you're explaining something like this you some things that seem obvious you don't think to say so the idea is that when your squares come in you can take a little picture and post that in the Facebook group and or the discord stitchery swap room so that everybody can see what comes in and it's just you wouldn't you just wouldn't believe if you haven't seen it already you'll be you'll be blown away seriously what what a creative and talent talented bunch we all are <laughs> and don't even get me started on the great big little art swap as well i've got i've got another i've got another stash of those to put in a book as well so so i think that is all I need to say. Oh no, that's one big thing, and I did uh, leave it here to show you. Oh, so I made a gallery. I made two galleries: one for the first swap and one for the second swap of, of the stitched squares. Well, of the ones that um, I managed to round up, I'm, sh I'm sure I missed lots. Um, I will say now before this, and I will remind you, I'm going to do another video just a few days before the the. the swap officially starts on the 1st of April and I'll remind you then um, but I said it all the way through last time and still some people sort of missed it and said oh no I missed it if you want your square to be include your square or squares that you make to be included in the gallery take a picture of them take the best picture you can get your head right over them so it's straight on in the best possible light that you can fit usually natural light diffuse natural light is best a dim evening indoor lights are really don't do your square all that work that you've done to make those squares get the best picture you can try and get it in diffused natural daylight is the best really the square the whole square nothing but the square take a picture like that and send it send it to me i will put my my link tree is in the description box if you go to my link tree you'll find links to the discord community the facebook group i suggest you join both of those now and start getting settled in if you haven't already and also my email is there so you need to send pictures of your swap squares that you're sending out to that email address. Please put gallery, just the word gallery in the subject so that I can easily make sure I haven't missed any. And then tell me your name as you would like it to be displayed in the gallery and the country that you're in. You don't need to say where you've sent it to or anything. So what will appear in the gallery is, is your name, however you want it to appear, and the photo and they'll be grouped into countries i'll show you in a second and if you've got any links if you'd like a link included say if you've got an etsy shop or a youtube channel or or whatever let me know that link only one link per square i can only do one per square so i've just um i've i just thought i'd show you the swap galleries very briefly and i will put links to them below as well so here we go this is the first swap gallery from the um stitchery great big little stitchery swap back last summer so it's divided into countries like this so if I click on UK you can see they all come up almost in in alphabetical order where I had to squeeze some in later on they might have gone a bit out of order but um, there we go and what a feast for the eyes this is so much inspiration here and um, and if you some of them they haven't all got links because not everybody wanted me to include links but if there are links if you hover over you'll see a little hand appears and then you can click and with that one that was Rachel Brereton so that's taken me to uh, Rachel Brereton Arts um, YouTube channel um, and then there's the Stitchery Swap 2 and again all divided up into countries so if I click on US there for a change look at these beauties I'm not going to do it now you can go on there and have a look yourself so I wanted to keep this relatively short and sweet. I'm <laughs> not good at that. So um, yeah, if you're looking for ideas, check out those galleries. There's loads and loads of ideas there. I'll link to my Stitchery Swap playlist so you can have a look at. Um, I showed. Did I ever get round to showing the the squares I sent out? I don't know if I did. <laughs> but I have done some of the creating of this of this uh, treasury book, and um, I did show every single square that came in to me. I I filmed the. The opening um so you can have a look at those if you'd like to 
and the one last thing to remember is there's that optional theme if you would like to follow it but if you if not please just ignore it on you know it doesn't matter to me it's just an idea if, if you want something to get you going and that theme is windows okay i think that's all i need to tell you if i've forgotten something because there's a lot to remember um do give me a shout in the stitch we swap room in discord the kind of rules and guidelines there aren't many rules really but you know, things like a deadline and stuff uh, will all be pinned at the top of the stitchery swap room and i will do the same thing in the facebook group uh, but there isn't a separate room I, all i can do is pin it to featured so it'll be it'll be at the top okay so that's it for now as i say do shout if you've got any questions at all i'm very excited to see another one kick off it'll be actually quite fun to watch it from the sidelines this time and just enjoy my uh, stitching my my beautiful pile of treasures that i've already got um but i'm dying to see what, every, what everybody else comes up with and i'll be interested to see what people might do with the windows theme i might use the windows theme in one of my treasury books because i've got to come up with a fourth idea because it's going to need four books so i might do that so kickoff is the first of april i'll probably do another kind of reminder announcement video a couple of days before that but if you want to go and get settled in now and start putting a list of swapsters together feel free off you go <laughs> thanks very much for joining me today um, i hope you're as excited as i am about the great big little stitchery swap and i will see you again really soon bye oh. <laughs> mouse 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 has gone to sleep